Skincare slugging has become so popular throughout the year of 2022, I swear everybody's talking about it. So if you want to know what my opinion is on it, that's what I'm going to go over today. I do have three different options to show you. The ingredients do vary within these products, but I have the CeraVe Healing Ointment, the Aquaphor Advanced Therapy, and this 100% Petroleum Jelly from CVS that is supposed to be a dupe for Vaseline. So if you want to learn more about what slugging is, how I slug, and what I really think about it, you're in the right place. Please hit that subscribe button and just keep watching. What is slugging? Slugging is using a really thick skin protectant, such as the three that I have mentioned here, and putting it over the skin, typically over a serum or moisturizer or both. Um, and what it does is it seals everything in so that it really minimizes water loss and contributes to hydration in the skin. Now, slugging is really nothing new. It's actually been very popular, especially when you do have a wound or a cut or something like that. On the 100% petrolatum jelly that I have here, it does say on it moisturizes and heals dryness, protects minor cut scrapes and burns. So, you know, rug burn or a scrape or something like that. And um, that's all that's in this. It doesn't have any other ingredients. So it's just simply that. So we're just going to call it Vaseline for the purpose of comparing it. Um, but essentially that is what it is for. And people have realized that this is not only a great ingredient to incorporate when your skin is injured and is healing, but it can also just be used to help rehydrate and heal the skin barrier if it's going through, you know, whether it's cold weather, seasonal changes, you're using an exfoliant that maybe is harsh on your skin, really anything, this can come in really good and handy. Now, the other uh, alternatives that I have on them do say similar things. So the Aquaphor version here actually says for dry, cracked, and irritated skin, clinically proven to restore smooth, healthy skin. And all of these that I'm mentioning are fragrance-free. These are kind of like a no-nonsense products. They don't have really anything added. Now, the Aquaphor is 41% petrolatum, so it's not petroleum jelly, it's petrolatum, but they are very similar ingredients. Um, and then it does also have some inactive ingredients such as mineral oil, kerosene, lanolin alcohol, panthenol, glycerin, and Biablol, I believe it's pronounced. All very moisturizing ingredients as well. So this just has a couple little added things to help keep you moisturized. Now these I really like on the lips. The uh, petroleum jelly I don't really like on the lips. I find that it makes them look really great, plumped, even brightening a little bit. I'll put some on right now to show you, but I find that in the long term it actually kind of dehydrates my lips. And I think that's because it doesn't have anything else in there. Um, and then whatever I have left over, I just put in between the crevices on my hands. It just helps kind of hydrate them and things like that. Now the CeraVe one, this says that it protects and smooths dry, cracked and skin. Now the CeraVe one has 46.5% petrolatum, so a little bit more than the Aquaphor. And then as far as the inactive ingredients, it actually has quite a lot of inactive ingredients out there. Now it does come in smaller versions of this. You don't have to get a absolutely massive tub like I did. Honestly, I don't know why I got such a huge tub because when I bought this, it was way before I even thought about slugging. I was afraid of it. But anyways, yeah, they have smaller sizes. So this has mineral oil as well. It just has a ton of different stuff. It has a different uh, dimethicone in there. It does have their ceramides like all CeraVe products have. Um, hyaluronic acid, panthenol as well. So nothing is bad that's in here. It just kind of has some interesting things. It has uh, cholesterol and I hope it has some preservatives in here, but I don't really see any of them. Um, anyways, so it says non-greasy feel. Mm, it's kind of a greasy feel. I mean, it, it it's petroleum, a petrolatum. So anyways, it says uses for temporarily protects and helps re relieve chapped or cracked skin, temporarily protects minor cuts, scrapes, or burns, and helps protect from drying effects of wind and cold weather. Uh, yeah, definitely agree with with that stuff it says temporary because once you wash it off you know your skin will become dry again you know what i mean like you have to continue to moisturize your skin to keep it moisturized let's talk about how we use these products so as far as this is going to be a longer video than i thought <laughs> so what is up with slugging why has it become part of people's routines well honestly for people that have dry skin slugging is really the only way to get in a lot of hydration without using 
a ton of different products or a lot of a product. Now slugging, I really only recommend to do at night because you're not going to be able to put makeup over this stuff. Your sunscreen's probably not going to blend that well over this. Uh, just, it, it also probably is not going to look the best on your skin. You're not going to look, you know, you're going to be very shiny despite it saying that it's non-greasy on the CeraVe. It, it definitely is. Well, I would recommend doing it at night. Now how I personally do slugging, and like I said, I was afraid to do slugging forever because the thought of putting some greasy, thick, product on my skin that used to be very acne prone when I was a teenager just gives me goosebumps. <laughs> Despite that, what I've really realized is that it's super hydrating, but it can be damaging. So if you use retinol or any other exfoliating acid, probably an AHA like glycolic acid or lactic acid, right? If you put that on and then you slug over it, it really intensifies that ingredient and so I find that when I use when I slug after using retinol my skin can actually kind of flake the next day which you'd think would be the opposite this is supposed to get rid of the dry skin but what happens is is that it makes those ingredients stay there and penetrate further into the skin so they're more uh, prominent, you know, they're, they're more effective, but they also can be more irritating. So definitely know that about these products. So how do I use it? So honestly, pretty much every single night as the last step of my skincare routine, I will put the CeraVe healing ointment under my eyes and on my eyelids. Now I find that this is very hydrating, very smoothing, and I think that it has actually improved the way that my under eyes look since doing this for the past couple of months. I even do it in the summer um, because like I said, I do it at night. So it doesn't affect me in the morning. I do wash my face. I shower in the morning and just having the water go onto your skin kind of just rinses it away. I never feel like in the morning that I have a residue of this on my skin. So no worries about that. Now you can use it to the entire face. I have definitely done that before. And actually I love to use this on my neck because I do get some razor burn on my neck as well. And this is a great way to be able to mitigate that razor burn without causing any irritation because a lot of my creams or serums and stuff that I have that I put on my face you have active ingredients in there um not necessarily bad ingredients but just the active ingredients can just kind of cause irritation on your very thin neck skin so this has nothing in there you know no active ingredients or anything like that so it really works great on the neck after you shave now this is also really great to use on your body it, it's so hydrating and I, I can definitely picture it working really well on the back if you used to have a lot of back acne back acne uh, you know or chest acne this can really help heal up those leftover marks that you may have um, but I've never really done that because sleeping with that all over your body would be very greasy and I don't want that in my bed uh, so an, an option that you could do is you could have a bathrobe and you could slug yourself up and then sleep in your bathrobe and then just know to wash that bathrobe the next day or every other couple days, whatever you're going to do. But I just, I just don't do it. I just don't find that I really need it. Uh, but definitely I love it to do it on my face and like around here, like near the jaw, the chin, the, the mouth area, I get very dry. So I do like to put that product uh, in, in those areas as well, and especially around my eyes. But I never really put it on my forehead or um, kind of my T-zone where I'm typically oily. Another thing that I want to mention is that the Aquaphor that I have says right on the top that it expires January of 2022. So it is October 2022. And... The CeraVe expired December of 2021, so about 10 months ago, and I still have a whole lot of this to go through because like I said, I think there was like a good sale or something was going on with this and I picked up the jar instead of a little squeezy tube, which it's, it's much more cost effective to buy this huge thing, but gosh, it's taken me a while to get through it. Um, and it's expired, but I'm still using it. I'm not saying that I would recommend doing that, but I personally am still using it because, you know, I bought it and I look at it. There's nothing wrong with it. There's not mold growing in it or anything like that. So I'm still using it and I haven't had a problem with it. 
yeah because this doesn't have like active ingredients in it like it's not a sunscreen it doesn't have exfoliants you know being expired i feel like what's really expired about it you know what i mean i feel like it expired way before its time i don't know do you see anything bad in there because i seriously do not um let's check out the this one this one doesn't expire till april of 2024 it says that right on the top here it's kind of hard to to see that so this one is good for a while so yeah i don't know always look at that stuff because honestly i feel like i bought this cerave like a year ago so that means it would have expired just a couple months after buying it so make sure that you check the expiration dates so anyways that wraps up slugging i just wanted to come on here and talk about that because i have been doing slugging for the past couple of months and as we are heading into colder weather you know slugging is going to become more prominent more in people's routine and if it's not in your routine maybe try to incorporate it even if you do have oily or combination skin like myself we do get dry areas and those under eyes that not a second goes by that those are not getting worse and worse as we speak so Anything to kind of help mitigate that or hydrate that area or smooth that area out is really beneficial. I, I find that my concealer goes on easier. I find that the skin looks better without any type of makeup. I find that the skin is smoother, more hydrated, and it doesn't bother me to sleep with it at night. I don't feel it or anything with any of these products. They do kind of soak in. You know, if you do touch your under eye throughout the night, you can definitely feel it, but it's not... If I, if I do touch it and it gets on my hands, I just blend it into my hands. I love to use the stuff on my hands as well. So whatever brand that you guys prefer, whether that be Vaseline or the store brand like I bought or Aquaphor or even the CeraVe, there are multiple different options for you, different price points, different sizes of product. And I leave this Aquaphor one in my travel uh, bag so that I always have it for my lips, under eyes, anything I need when I'm on vacation, it's in my backpack that I bring on every airplane as my uh, personal item that goes underneath my seat. Always have this in there. The uh, Petrolatum Jelly, I just keep in my desk. And then the CeraVe, I keep in the bathroom. So not saying you need all these different products, but I'm just saying that there's different options, different sizes, and different ingredients within these different products. So take a look at that. If you want the most simple thing, you know, look for something that's just 100%. If you want the Aquaphor one, I feel like there's not a lot of you know, added things to it. But the CeraVe one, while it does have some more added stuff to it, it's pretty good ingredients like those ceramides, hyaluronic acid, panthenol, like they're not bad things. They just, you know, are definitely more. So if you, you want to keep it more simple or you're allergic to any of those ingredients, there are alternatives out there for you. So anyways, I'm so sorry. I did not mean for this video to be so friggin' long. Uh, I guess there's a lot to talk about with slugging. But anyways, I appreciate your time. Please give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. This jacket, as well as these products, will be linked down below, so go ahead and check those out if you are interested, and go ahead and follow me on my Instagram. I'll have it up here if you are interested in that, and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for your support, and I'm wishing you good, hydrated skin throughout these cold months coming up.